This is Natalie Pace and welcome to day 15. This is the third week, the beginning of the third week of our 21 day coaching call series, 21 days to a healthier, wealthier, more beautiful you. Now, the first week we were getting rid of our old thoughts, ideas, and limitations, limiting beliefs. The second week we were exercising this newfound focus on prosperity, abundance, solving problems, taking ownership, being the boss and creating good things in our life. And now we're ready to up level by bringing in partners. Today's mantra is sacred union. Now, a lot of us think of this and think, oh, well, our soulmate, um, our life partner, our marriage. And if you have a sacred union with your life partner, and in your marriage, then you are very, very, very blessed. But that's not the only way to have sacred unions. So when you think about any person in your life, it can be a sacred bond. And that's kind of that larger purview that I want us to start thinking about. Rather than think, you know, like, Today, when we have high inflation, what we see, and I see it a lot, is that everybody wants to take advantage of an opportunity that they might have to charge more or to get more money in. And they are not thinking at all about the person they're getting the money from. So that's to me is not a sacred union. That's an example of someone thinking of the other person as someone that can uh, they can take advantage of. That's not sacred. That's not a union, right? So if you think about yourself as being someone that's in a relationship with your customer, someone that's in a relationship with your children, with your parents and grandparents, with your friends, with your community base, then this idea of the sacred bond and of what you should and shouldn't do takes on a whole different meaning. So I, I commend you and I'm grateful if you have a sacred union in your sacred beloved, in your life partner. But I want us to extend this idea of sacred union to everybody that we trust and value in our lives. And especially now when everybody's trying to make an extra buck, you know, it's funny because I was uh, headed into New York and I had one night that I wanted to, um, that I needed to not stay, I, my sublet, I needed to be there the night before it started. And I asked someone who is allegedly a friend if um, maybe I could stay that night in their unit. And I said, I would be willing to kick them some money, right? And they said, they said yes, we'd love to have you. And they gave me a price that was like for a five-star restaurant. Here's the price that we would charge you. And, you know, it just was not friendly at all. And I, it, it's kind of hard to understand why a friend would even do that. Does that make sense? So imagine how a customer feels if all of a sudden that thing that you always uh, charged is now going to be a massive amount higher. Now, everything is higher. And so you could make the case, well, everything's gone up, right? So our costs have gone up, so we got to charge more. But the one thing that hasn't gone up a lot kind of little is wages. So we, in today's world where we need to tame inflation, we also need to tame greed. We need to tame opportunity to gouge, price gouging. And we need to think of our partnerships, our sacred partnerships, not just with, you know, people that are supposed to be close to us, but anybody. So thank you for joining me today. You, I do consider as part of my sacred circle. And that is why I am giving this 21 days for free. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.